look today was inspired by Bianca Jagger and how she had this amazing, eclectic, personal style. She seemed to like throw things together really effortlessly. Like she mixed and matched things, but it looked really cool and effortless. So um, with the hair, we're really kind of keeping it understated just to kind of balance out Jenny's really beautiful gowns. Um, we're prepping the hair with a 24-hour body mousse. We're blow drying it on high heat with our Mason Pearson, just a flat blow dry. And then we're creating the texture by back brushing it so that it's kind of fluffy. Raking everything back with our fingers so it has a looseness to it into a low ponytail and then wrapping it around into a bun. Leaving the ends out just so it just has this effortlessly like second day like I didn't think about it too much <laughs> kind of hair. It's basically a young, fresh, modern take on Bianca Jagger's attitude and her whole thing was that she was very sort of fresh, modern, and even anything that she would wear traditional, she would flip the script on it. So we wanted to convey that with the skin texture, so we kept the skin texture very fresh and young and youthful, and then the eyes very sort of glossy. That was our nod to the 70s. With the lips, we wanted to do a modern take on a um, bitten lip, so we used tinted moisturizer to get a sheerness rather than it completely blocking it out and then just sort of did it in the centre so it's like a bitten lip. This season really um, was very sort of loosely inspired by Bianca Jagger and not so much about what she wore but how she wore it. Um, she was very kind of individual with the way that she wore things and it always looked very effortless. I think that's what it was about, you know, you think of her getting married in the white suit and then you're, you see a picture of her wearing something very sort of bohemian and then she wore the lovely sort of Studio 54 plunging necklines and um, I think when a woman is in the sort of public eye it, it takes quite a lot of courage actually just to kind of be quite playful, you know, there was a lot of integrity and wit in what she wore and I've tried to bring a little bit of that to collection where it is a collection but it is, there's, there's a bit more diversity in it, we've got sort of some cashmere jumpers, we've got um, pants, we've got some tuxedos, so just that kind of feeling of, you know, you can invent your own style within it. She's always been sort of there. Um, I mean, to me, there's the, the women that I sort of love the way they dress are people like even sort of Peggy Guggenheim or Diana Vreeland, people that just sort of step out and do their own thing, you know, instead of sort of following fashion. Um, we were talking earlier about, you know, Kate Moss perhaps, you know, is one of those people that just sort of now and again sort of throws you and you sort of think, wow, that's, that's interesting. Um, so a lovely inspiration point. I mean, I can't really ever really sometimes put my finger on why you start picking something up as, as, a, as a sort of an inspiration. But we just sort of start collecting images together. I mean, sometimes it's just a magazine. You turn the page and you see a picture of her and you think, hey, that, you know, that's the timing for that seems, seems right. So I, I suppose a lot of it is sort of just instinct, really. You know, with evening wear, I think it can all start looking a bit sort of grown up and overdone. So we try and keep the hair and makeup very young and youthful, not too heavy. The jewellery is actually quite um, very sort of ornate this season and quite heavy, big sort of bracelets and earrings. So I think it's just that lovely contrast between making sure it looks sort of effortless, but it's actually very kind of considered and quite formal.
I'm a fan. I wore Jenny Packham to the premiere of Up in the Air, and I felt like such a princess. And um, obviously, everything she does is just so well made. I think, you know, there are a lot of designers who do beautiful things, but when you put it on, it doesn't feel as luxurious as Jenny Packham. It's a really special experience. I mean, there's comfort and there's glamour, but she embraces femininity in a really nice way. When I get dressed up, I really like to get dressed up, and you know, I guess her clothes are the kinds of things that I imagine like running through a field of daisies. You know, certainly if you see a field of daisies, I would love to run around in it. It's, it's just a beautiful experience getting to wear something that's so well made. We've got a wonderful colour in the show, um, we called it Wild Cherry and it comes in towards the end and it's just so, such a, it's almost like a, a new colour <laughs> but it's, it's, it's kind of wonderful you know, it's, um, and then we started sort of piecing it together with, we were trying to do some more interesting sort of colour combinations this time, being a bit more sort of experimental, you know, in the beginning of the show we've got a lovely kind of dark sort of we call it black tulip kind of color and then we put these lovely um, sort of black diamond and sort of a pewtery color beading on it and it's just it's just gorgeous quite a few sort of stretch crepes and there's a couple of dresses in there that I, I, I really love actually so um, yeah I don't know I, I, we've got a lovely tuxedo that we're sort of throwing in a sort of boyfriend style way over their shoulders and uh, that's kind of brought the whole collection together a bit as well I think that the, the diversity I think I'd like them to think that we're kind of maybe moving on with some of our sort of products bringing in different elements um, expanding the scope of you know evening wear that we do